have been wanting to make this video tutorial for a while now. But due to COVID, the supplies of flour have been going back to normal, very slow in my area. But today, I came to the supermarket and found out that they have a good supply of different flowers. So, here's the recipe, finally. Start the night before. In a bowl, place 25 grams or 2.5 tablespoons of quinoa, 25 grams or 2.5 tablespoons of black seeds, 25 grams or 3 tablespoons of sunflower seeds, and 25 grams or 3 tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. Add 2 cups of hot water and let them soak overnight. The next day, Combine 325 grams or one and a third cups of water, 100 grams or a third of a cup of rice sourdough started in a bowl. Mix the ingredients until the starter dissolves in the water. Then add 75 grams or half a cup of pumpernickel flour or rye flour if you don't have pumpernickel. Add 100 grams of whole wheat flour and 325 grams or 2.5 cups of all-purpose flour. Mix with a dough hook until all the ingredients are well incorporated. You can also use your hands to bring all the ingredients together. Cover with a towel and let it rest on the counter for 30 minutes. In the meantime, drain all the seeds that you left soaking overnight. After 30 minutes, add 50 grams or 3.5 tablespoons of olive oil, 25 grams or 1 tablespoon of the best local honey you can get, and 10 grams or half a tablespoon of salt. Start kneading with your hand in your bowl. Add all the seeds and keep kneading in your bowl for about two minutes until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Cover with a towel and let the dough rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, start a series of stretch and folds. Make sure that you stretch the dough well each time. Cover with a towel and wait for another 30 minutes. On the second stretch and fold, your dough should be more shiny and elastic. So stretch it well so the dough gets more elasticity and strength. Perform one last stretch and fold. And cover your dough for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, get your dough out of the bowl. Get a dough scraper and start shaping your dough into a cylinder shape. Stretch it well as you keep shaping it. Transfer it seam side down to a grease 9 by 5 inch or 23 by 13 centimeter loft pan. Cover it with greased plastic wrap. Make sure to grease your plastic wrap with some oil before covering your dough so the plastic wrap doesn't stick to the dough. Let your dough proof in a warm place. I am using my dough proofer at 86 degrees Fahrenheit 
or 30 degrees Celsius for about 4 hours. After 4 hours, my bread is ready to be baked. I am just brushing it with some water and adding some oats on top. Place it in a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Wait at least 10 minutes before taking the bread out of the pan. And let it cool at least 30 more minutes before slicing. In the end, make sure to use your bread to make your favorite sandwich. I am making a delicious turkey deli meat sandwich. With some Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, avocado slices, Season with salt, red onions, and pickled jalapenos. I know you're gonna love this healthy bread option, which is perfect for any sandwich or toasted with butter and your favorite jam. I hope that you can try this recipe. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Thank you for watching.